Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Inside South Florida. Jason Carter here. Thank you so much for watching. Starting things off today, The Morning Show has been one of the most talked about returning series of 2021 with its storylines touching on topics that are at the forefront of conversation and characters that are supremely nuanced. I sat down with actor Deshaun Terry, who plays anchor Daniel Henderson, where he drove home the importance of visibility and diversity. Take a look. Hey, man. Good to see you. Good to see you too, and good to see you killing the game on Morning Shows season two. I didn't think you guys could top season one, but yet here we are. It's even more compelling than the first season. Last time we saw your character, Daniel, he was at a bit of a crossroads, deciding, hey, whether to take his career to a whole new level and a whole new direction, but he chose to stay at UBA. Now we see him thrust into the origins of what has become the pandemic, and all, but also trying to be seen and valued at a newsroom and also in a place that puts him in a box. What's Daniel's journey this season? You know why it's so compelling? You're like, yeah, this season is even more compelling. I was said to myself, I was like, because it's all trauma. <laughs> <laughs> it's all traumatic. It's the traumatic, every traumatic issue of 2020 um, in the world of the morning show. So. Uh, you know, this season was definitely, um, you know, we see more of Daniel this season. It's exciting for me as a, as an actor. And also after living through the pandemic, I always call it dual pandemics. And I think that's what we're seeing in the show as well. The pandemics of, um, you know, COVID-19 and also the racial reckoning. And I think it's so cool that the morning show is talking about all of it. And uh, I feel really fortunate that Daniel is at the center for both of these conversations. He definitely is. I mean, this show, Deshaun, is so very on the nose of what's happening in the world from the pandemic to equality to, like, as you mentioned, civil unrest and racism. For season two, how are you able to steer Daniel's storyline and make sure that in the writer's room that your character, an LGBTQ plus black man, was also able to speak to those experiences authentically? Yeah, he's, uh, he's had a lot of intersections, right? Mm -hmm. Which... I think it's so exciting because I, I mean, I I don't know, maybe my life is, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, unique in the sense that I feel like everybody is at an intersection, you know, we're all talking about our sexuality, our, our gender, our race, and how all of these things impact us in the workplace and our dynamic and our careers and, and our lives. And what was really cool for season two is Carrie Aaron, who I think does a bang up job. I mean, honestly, it's so, I took a breath just now because it's just so refreshing to sure. work with a writer who wants to make sure that your voice is in it. And so that it's, it's not just, hey, this is where we're going, but she actually checks in and, and we talk about stuff. And so they were, there were definitely conversations about uh, a lot of the moments, the relationship between Mia and Daniel this season, who are the the two, um, uh, basically the two black people in the in the workplace the fact that we have a layered textured relationship where it's not like we always agree on everything, but we actually have multiple perspectives. Like all that is just so fun and fortunate that we get to play in that nuance of a world. It's a cycle of community that, that, that keeps on giving back. All right, well look, you know, we are in Miami, right? And I know that everyone has a crazy Miami when story. When are you coming back to LA? I don't know, man. The, the flights, that's a long flight. And with the pandemic, I think I'm going to be on the ground for, for a minute. But I need to know what, you know, you're someone who loves to turn up a little bit. What is your, like, craziest Miami memory? Or what do you love to do when you come to Miami? Um, I was in Miami, actually, um, when the, the COVID numbers were were down. However, um, I was there and it was just really great. Like, uh, there was a drag queen bar. I don't remember wh where it was. Uh, and we had a blast. It was just, yeah, I just go to all the bars and, you know, the food like everybody else. It's the hey, normal stuff. The normal stuff. We will take the normal stuff. Deshaun Terry, we are, as you said, excited to see you on the morning show, season two, doing a great job, great show, and congratulations on everything you have going on. All the best. Jason, so good to see you, man.